What is up guys? It is Math Maz Fishing. We are back again with another video. Today I have a pretty sweet video for you guys. I am going to start with a little bit of an unboxing of some new stuff I bought uh, just in time for salmon season. If that gives you any hints. And I'm basically going to uh, unbox it and give you guys a first thought. Then I'm going to go and fish it. Hopefully catch some salmon. Fingers crossed. I've never caught one. So it's my first season. I'm really excited. Uh, and then I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a breakdown of what I think of the new stuff that I got. So we're going to start with the first thing. Oh yeah, shout out to Rawfish. Making a sick steelhead hat. Really stoked on that. But anyways, moving on. I got this guy right here. The Islander Steelheader center pin reel. So this is my second center pin reel. The first one that I bought was the Streamside Extreme float reel. Uh, it's a really awesome reel. I really like it but I decided it was time to try something a little bit new. I've had my eye on this reel for quite some time. Uh, I finally saved up enough money to be able to buy it. Got a little bit of bubble wrap when we open up the box. Ooh, and then we have a little reel cover. It's a neoprene, little sleeve there. Nothing too fancy. We'll keep the reel nice and clean and uh, keep it from getting all sandy and dirty. Open that up. Wow, that looks sick. There it is, guys. The Islander Steelheader. I got in the slate gray color. I searched for quite some time to uh, find someone that even had it in stock. I couldn't find this color anywhere. Uh, so I'm really, really, really happy. I, <laughs> it took a little bit of searching for me to find this slate gray color, but I'm uh, really happy I did. This looks like a really good quality reel. Everything's machined out very well. It's, Extremely smooth. That'll spin forever. Even the startup speed of when you actually throw the spool is very quick. It seems like it's gonna be really good. So on these guys, then you have your little clicker mechanism on the back. And if I recall, it moves in kind of like, there we go. It moves in kind of like a uh, half moon sort of pattern. Pull it down, press it back up. So that'll engage your a uh, little gear piece on the inside, the clicker. As you can see now, when I give it a spin, that clicker system engages. It's a good quality clicker, it's nice and loud. The teeth seem like they're nice and big, so it's gonna work quite well. I'm really happy with the way this reel looks. It says Islander right there. These are all handmade in British Columbia. Really good quality from the look of it. I'm really excited with that guy. I got some tough line fly backing in a chartreuse color. Uh, that's like 20 pounds, but it doesn't matter because I'm never actually gonna use the backing. And then for my main line, I purchased the Raven 12 pound main line that is in a, uh, I think it's a fluorescent pink or like a bright pink. It's almost a red color. It's pretty sweet looking. Now to go with this uh, reel, I decided it would only be fair if I paired it up with a new rod. I got the Streamside Force float rod. It's in a 13.6 medium light action. I got it with the fixed reel seat. I come from bass fishing, so I'm really used to having a fixed reel seat opposed to a sliding ring system. I did have the sliding rings on my other rod, which was the Streamside Vortex 2. Really good quality rod, really like it. However, coming from bass fishing, I do kind of prefer to have a reel seat, uh, as I know so far, but this is my first float rod that has a reel seat, so we're gonna try it out and see how I like it. Uh, one of my friends had this rod. I really liked it. I tried it out uh, when we were steelheading in the spring and it was really, really wicked. So I'm excited to try this out and pair it up with my brand new reel. The colors match perfectly. It's, it's gonna look sick. So I'm gonna get this all set up and then I'm gonna give you guys a uh, quick little view of what it all looks like. Also, I just wanna give a huge thank you to Tom from The Bait Bucket in Barrie. Uh, that's where I got all this stuff. I really like his shop. He's got a lot of really awesome stuff for quite a, not small, but for a compact size fishing store. Uh, but he has a ton of really awesome stuff. He's got the Islander reels. He carries Raven stuff. He's got bass gear. He's got stuff for perch, ice fishing, pretty much anything you could ever need for anywhere in Ontario. Whew. All right, guys, we are back. That took a long time. I got it all spooled up with the line. Flip it over so you can see. Looks pretty sick. Got the chartreuse on the bottom, the fluorescent, or like the whatever highlighter, hot pink. Looks like almost a red on top. On the real seat, it matches really, really well. It's 
both of like uh, both the real seat and the real are uh, pretty much like a slate color. The real seat's a little bit darker, almost like an olive, but it looks so good. Stream side force. With an Islander steel header. Well guys, that is my setup. We have made it to our first spot of the morning. We are going to get rigged up and get fishing. I have already seen some fish in the pool, so I know they're here. Let's hope we can catch a couple. Uh, yeah. My very first Chinook salmon. It is a freaking heavy fish. Absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go get a release. So it has been a minute since I turned the camera on. Uh, so basically the last clip you probably would have seen was me landing that fish. Um, now after I landed that fish, I went to go make a cast and my last rod broke right about here. I called the store I got it from and he said, if you want me to warranty it, I need you to bring it in. Uh, I said, I'm pretty far from you right now. I'm about two hours away and I'm trying to go fishing. <laughs> so that wasn't really an option for me. Uh, so what I ended up doing was he gave me a phone number actually to the Streamside distributor uh, and I actually called them. They're located in Markham, which is kind of close to where I was. I, I was willing to uh, go there if I had to and I called them up and I said, hey, the rod broke, I just bought it. Uh, I don't have a receipt with me, but you could call the store I got it from. He can authorize that I did just buy it. And Streamside hooked me up with a new upper half of the rod. Uh, so part of a product when you buy it is essentially, there's something called a failure rate. And so companies do have uh, quality control, but when you do quality control, not every single product is gonna be perfect. Not every single product is gonna meet it. Some products are gonna fail and that's expected. You have a failure rate for your products. Uh, so it's, it's not something I can really criticize that the rod broke. It's, it's not a good justification because that's what warranty exists for. Uh, so as you can see, it was very easy for me to get my hands on a new rod. They were very accommodating. They did everything they could in their power to get me hooked up onto a new rod as quickly as possible. Uh, so that gives me a big old thumbs up. I say thank you very much to Streamside. Uh, again, I still have nothing against the rod. I'm really excited and I, I like it. It handles really well. Uh, the real seat's really nice. It feels good. Uh, I think I might have just either gotten a lemon or something. We're gonna keep going. We are now at a new spot. I have no idea if there's any fish here whatsoever. 
Uh, it's also supposed to get very, very, very nasty outside at about four o'clock, it's currently noon. It's a bit of a walk to get to the spot that I wanna fish. I think I'm gonna go down there, check it out. It's really windy. It is extremely hot out. I think it's about 33 degrees. I am sweating my butt off like crazy. And this hole is absolutely stacked. I don't know if you can tell because of the shade. You can see all the fins coming up. There must be at least, I don't know, 40 fish in this hole. When they get spooked, they all jump. There's tons of them. Looks like they're almost all chinooks. I don't see any cohos. Don't see any trout. I think it's all chinooks. I don't really like fishing that hole in particular uh, because it's really hard to get a drift. That's kind of inhumane too to be uh, tossing, at, you know, 40 fish stacked on top of each other. They can't even move. in the mouth boys oh my god this one is insane oh god he's going down Head shakes are crazy. Look at it, the float's just going all over the place. Having a real hard time landing these things. They fight so hard. I'm also fishing in a tough spot. Guys, here's my second fish of the day. Nice, great big Chinook. It's got some red on the bottom. This guy's old. I'm gonna try to revive him and get him back. He's kicking. You gotta just hold him in the water and tug him forward and back. I'm gonna try to stay out of the dirt as much as possible. I'm kind of submerged in it, it's a little tough. He's finally starting to kick. There he goes, guys. Properly revived, he will be A-OK. -okay. All right, guys, I am heading out. It's almost about four o'clock. We have a severe weather warning, so I figure better safe than sorry. I also have about 20 or so minute walk back to my car. Overall, I had an awesome day. I had a lot of fun actually. I caught my very first salmon ever. So I'm super excited about that. Um, yeah, it was really just a fun day. I got to try out my new rod and reel. And I will check in with you guys once I get home to give you a quick little recap. I am back, finally home. I had a really long day. I am exhausted. I'm going fishing again tomorrow. Can't wait. Uh, so just to kind of recap my day, I caught my first two salmon ever, which was amazing. I'm really excited about that. And I got to try out my new rod and reel. Uh, so again, the rod uh, kind of stinks that it broke, but on the plus side, I can at least say I 110% approve of Streamside's customer service. I was really happy with uh, the way I was treated and I think they uh, got that sorted out in a very fair manner uh, in the most organized time frame possible, which I really respect and appreciate. I think if a consumer can stand behind their products, uh, that means the world. 
And in regards to the reel, I really like it a lot. Uh, the inertia, like the startup speed is really good. It casts really well, it's very smooth. No complaints with the reel whatsoever. I'm very, very, very happy with it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some more, hopefully some more salmon. Uh, for sure some steelhead in the next couple of weeks as they start to come in the creeks. I can't wait. I really enjoy steelhead. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace.